just hit one o'clock and I've had to come back to bed. I got up to have something to eat and it's made me scrambled eggs on toast. But I'm just, I can't keep my head up. So I'm back in bed. Feeling is just so weird. It's just like a constant pulsing right through my head. And an overwhelming dizziness for a second, but the pulsing is just constantly there. My eyes are so stingy still. But. Anyway, I'm going to try getting some rest and hopefully feel a wee bit better later. So I shall chat to you all then. Hello darlings, it is now 20 to 7. I'm going to get up out of bed to have something to eat. I'm not cooking, we ordered Chinese because... Everything that's here available to eat is frozen and I cannot be bothered waiting around for things to defrost. I'm too hungry. All I've eaten today is scrambled eggs on toast and... This pulsing is just driving me insane. I think whenever I've eaten I'm just going to come back up and get into bed again and stay here until tomorrow. I know I've felt this before. It was back whenever um, I had a low blood count. I think it was 8.1, I think. I had been feeling really weird. At first the doctors had thought I had swine flu, then it was glandular fever, and then um, I spent a couple of weeks taking medication for glandular fever and I'd gone back to work. And I remember after working, I think I worked like seven days in a row. And on the seventh day I was sitting, I'd actually got up to go to the toilet. My head had been really like this here all day. It wasn't sore but it was just pulsing. And when you're on the phones and everything, that just, it's a horrible feeling. Um... So I remember sitting on the toilet and just praying, God please get me home, if you get me home I'll be okay, I can figure out from there but I need you to get me home. And I remember praying and praying and I remember standing washing my hands and the next thing I was on the floor and I couldn't open my eyes properly because, and this is horrible to even talk about, but I had sick just sitting here and here, it was in my hair. My clothes were saturated. By the time I was able to wipe everything out, I looked around me and there was sick up the walls, there was sick over the mirrors, there was sick in the sinks. I have no idea what happened, how that got to that point. But I was terrified and I just kind of lay there wondering what the day. And unfortunately for me, I was on a shift where there wasn't that many people on and nobody came to look for me. I was just left there. And by the time I made it, I had to go over and say, look, I need my stuff. I need help. And um, I ended up having to take off my top and put on just my jacket and I could hardly walk to get to my dad's car he came to pick me up um, and take me home and I just remember going home and lying down and in the house that I lived in then we had a ceiling fan and I remember lying staring at it and just feeling as if I was swaying along with this ceiling fan that wasn't even on um, and I went to the out of ours doctors which this would have been the third time I'd been um, and they just told me to rest and I was like seriously so on the Monday I went 
to the doctors. I got an emergency appointment and because this was a Friday night that it happened. Saturday morning I went to out of hours and after them screwing up before I was just like right this is wrong. So I went to my own doctors on the Monday. They did a blood test and on the Tuesday they rang to say look your blood counts dropped to 8.1. We don't know what's happened. We don't know why you've lost so much blood where it's going. If you have a leak inside you know something torn. Um, but if your blood drops anymore, we're going to give you a blood transfusion. And I'm just lying there going, what? What? What is this even serious? So that was around August. I had a consultation in September to find out what was going on in my stomach. And I kind of already thought that I had an ulcer. Um, I was off from August right through until December while my blood built up again. Um, and it wasn't until March that I finally found out that I had two massive ulcers, gastritis and um, a germ called Helicobacter pylori, um, which apparently is a hereditary thing and both, both, all three of, um, I can hardly even speak, my sister, myself and my older brother who's just recently suffered from it. We've had issues. Um, my dad, as far as I remember, has had issues. But it's been on and off over the years since that. But I ended up, at that point, I had two massive ulcers, which were very close together. And they were around two centimetres by two centimetres. But there wasn't much of a gap in between them. And as they were getting bigger, they were going to join into this big one, massive one. And so I was on treatment for that. And then... Um, I went away, got married, had another um, endoscopy and I had seven new ulcers by then and I was like oh because I'm not greedy I couldn't just be happy with two ulcers I had to have another seven and that was the thing the other ones were nearly healed up totally I just had seven new ones I mean, seriously there was no reason for them you know, didn't understand why that had happened, whatever. So anyway, um, I, that was three to four years ago, four years ago that it all happened. Um, but it's three years ago since I got married, three and a half. But I just do this feeling. I don't think there's any point in me going to the out of hours doctors because I don't trust their judgment anymore. I don't trust what they do. So I'm probably going to have to wait and make an emergency appointment on Monday, which means another couple of days in bed for me. I mean, you guys know I've been pushing through. I've been trying to do as much as I possibly can through the pain and everything. Um, but I just cannot sit up. I can't do it. It is horrible. I mean, just lying down, the feeling is so overwhelming, just going up and over and, oh, it's just, I can feel my blood pulsing. And I think that's how I know that it's a blood count because if you imagine if your blood count drops, you don't have enough going around your body to keep everything working properly. So whenever you stand up, obviously the blood that was sort of getting to your brain isn't getting to your brain the same anymore which is why you get dizzy and pass out and things like that which is why you're better off lying down anyway I'm gonna go I need to go downstairs and have dinner it should be here soon so I will chat to you all before bed anyway Um. I had decided last week that I'm not going to vlog over the weekend unless um, it's a weekend where I might shop in or doing things like that and then I'll do a combined one. Um, and it'll basically be taking a leaf out of the Shaitard book and it'll be a one take thing. Um, but like of so tonight's vlog you'll not be watching it. This will be Monday by the time you're watching it hopefully I'll know what's going on better. Um, but I decided that I needed to take a break. So it's 
going to be a case of I film Monday to Friday and Monday's vlogs up on Tuesday, Tuesday's Wednesday, Wednesday's Thursday, Thursday's Friday and Friday is Monday. So that's the way it'll go and at the weekend it'll just be um, one take videos of things like if I'm at shop and if I go to the market, things like that. That's all that'll be going up on a Sunday or Saturday. And really, I wanted to do that because it's too much. Because I've really neglected my main channel for my beauty videos um, since I started vlogging. And I don't like that because it's I don't want the vlogging to take over from... Um, the beauty stuff that I want to do as well. So, and on top of that, Thomas did mention a couple of times that he feels like I'm never away from either filming or editing. So, I need to look after my husband as well. So weekends are for Thomas, unless I'm out shopping. And there'll be no real editing, it'll just be a one take thing. Just to give you a snippet of what's happening. Or even a wee quick haul or something. But anyway. Um, I will chat to you all later after I've eaten. And hopefully I'll be feeling a wee bit better after eating again. Hope you guys have all had a really good weekend. Let me know in the comments below what you have been up to. Hopefully somebody's done something more exciting than me. Okay, my lovely, so due to being so sick at the minute, this is how I have to go to sleep at night because my skin is breaking down all around me. So I am covered in cream. My lip, my bottom lip is so fat right here and so dried out. It's horrible. So anyway. I just got up to go to the bathroom. Thomas is gone. He's away to work. And now I'm getting back into bed and hopefully we'll just sleep the rest of the night away. It is only half ten. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. And I'm having the weirdest, most bizarre dreams ever. Anyway, I can't really stand much longer, so... I'm going to go and hopefully get to sleep. I haven't even talked about the pain levels of anything else today, but let's just say along with everything else, whenever you're not well, your fibro symptoms intensify as well. So you can imagine that my pain isn't great at the minute. Plus, joyfully, it's that time of the month as well, so I've got the base of my back and my stomach area all around there is feeling like it's being ripped apart too. It's awesome to have everything in one week. Oh dear, woe is me. Do you ever feel like that? Anyway, my darlings, um, so obviously it's Friday night, so instead of saying I will see you tomorrow, which obviously I will, but for me it'll be I'll see you on Monday. Um... I hope you've had a really lovely weekend and are ready for the week ahead. See you soon. Love yous. Mwah. Mwah. Bye.